Hi, I'm Letitia with Letitia.com and I'm an astrologer and numerologist and um, tarot reader. And I wanted to talk to you today about having hard aspects in your chart to Venus. And uh, in particular, I'm talking about uh, Venus square Saturn, Venus square Mars, uh, Venus square Neptune, or in opposition to either of these planets. Um, Neptune, of course, can cause a lot of delusion, uh, be able to hinder you from seeing what is really there. You know, you could see love. You could meet love partners with Neptune square or in opposition to uh, Venus. You could meet love partners and you see them in one way. And then over time, the fog clears and then you see who they really are. And if you have... Venus in this, uh, even in an in conjunction, even though that's considered a minor aspect, it is very powerful. Um, also, women who have Mars in hard aspect to Neptune, because for relationships, women in relationship, Mars represents the type of man that you will bring into your life. So with Mars, square or in conjunct or opposite Neptune, you may have a, a male partner who does not go get it. You know, he may be lazy. He may um, just be in a dream world. He may talk about all the things that he wants to accomplish. But as far as actualizing and getting up and going to get it, um, this may be something that you don't see with this partner. Okay. So, I want to talk about some ways to heal the aspects. You know, the beautiful thing about us being here on the earth, Mother Earth supports us. And the more we study about the things that are here, plants and crystals and um, uh, different herbs that are here, then we can work better with the hard aspects. We don't have to be stuck. We don't have to uh, continue out our life and just accept what the birth chart says. So in particular, if you have um, Venus in a painful aspect, because Venus rules women as a whole. And so if you have this hard aspect, any of these hard aspects that I have mentioned to Venus, then you may not see yourself as lovable in Saturn. With Saturn in hard aspect to Venus, you may feel blocked from receiving love, receiving and or giving love. Um, and, you know, this could just be a pattern that you continue to have over and over again. And with Venus to Mars, you could have um, abusive partners, Venus square Mars, Venus opposition to Mars. You know, there could be challenges, there could be verbal abuse, there could be uh, mental abuse, there could be physical abuse with any of these to Mars because it brings in this aspect in love that is painful, that is harsh, there's a harshness that is there. And these things, they start from childhood. They start from childhood, um, the message about what love should look like. So if it, you know, if it is to Saturn, Venus to Saturn in hard aspect, then, you know, you feel that you don't deserve love. Uh, Venus to Mars, you've probably seen your mom um, have love come hard. You know where there was violence involved this is something that you could have seen so for you this is, looks normal and then with venus to neptune you know again not seeing the partner until all the clouds lift by that time you're looped in to the cycle in this relationship venus to pluto power struggles, Venus square Pluto, Venus opposition to Pluto. There are 
power struggles that you have and oftentimes you're giving away your power to your partners or just to other people but I want to talk in particular about this crystal malachite I've used this I've seen how powerful it is as far as healing Venus so I have this one here And it kind of looks like the turtle without legs. Okay. And then I also have this one here. That will go on a chain. And so I have the first one I meditated with was this one. And I have lots of hard aspects to my Venus. I have uh, Venus square uh, Saturn. I have Venus square Mars, though it's, it's further apart, but it's still there. I have um, Venus opposite Pluto. So I have all of this happening in my chart. So I have had to work with uh, healing modalities and a uh, multitude of things that I have had to do um, to heal Venus. So. This in particular has been so powerful for me. And what it has done each time that I have meditated with it, with this particular Malachite. The first time I was meditating with this, it was related to um, a particular love partner. Uh, and this partner, I was not able to see clearly. And I have Neptune in the seventh. In the in the whole chart in the whole house chart but I have Neptune in the eight in the um, Placida system but I was meditating with this and literally I astral traveled and I was able to see the relationship and what it was I was able to see my part I was able to see my partner's part who he really is i was able to see it clearly and all of this happened within 30 minutes and when i saw it i was able to see and understand the nature of the relationship and seeing the nature of the relationship and the facade that it was that the neptunian nature of it came through meditating with this crystal it brought me truth and it brought me to heart healing and heart healing when you have these types of aspects in your chart it's not uh, a, a linear development it is a journey it is a journey because during childhood you know there you received all of these messages that have separated you from true love so now it is about healing the inner child it is about uh reprogramming the mind to see what you are really worth and with this crystal the malachite because the green helps heal the heart chakra and venus is associated with the heart chakra i understand that um leo rules as it relates to the body leo rules the heart but venus rules love all forms of love and so with that it comes from the heart it comes from the feeling of the heart so the green heals that and the malachite is so powerful this deep green is so powerful as it relates to healing the heart and then i meditated with this one um and this healing that came with this insight insight was brought to me through this particular malachite meditating with it holding it in my left hand so that i could receive the wisdom the ancient wisdom from this crystal uh had to do with um a terrible feeling of of loneliness um from just again from childhood and so forth and meditating with this gave me as I slept, when my eyes opened, I had the insight, I had the answer to where the problem stemmed from. And immediately, 
a weight was lifted off of my heart and off of my mind. I, I keep coming to this particular card and it's in the African American tarot deck and I want to show it to you and this is for all of the all of the children in the traditional deck if you know the tarot you know what the the two of wands looks like there's a man he's standing and he's looking out looking away and there is a um there is a wand that is standing behind him and he has one in his hand and one left behind but in the african-american tarot deck i think that it speaks so well to the children to the girls who have been abandoned by one parent or another and in in the african-american community this is something that is very common for you know a parent to not be there you know you may typically you have your mother but you may not have your father. And for some of us, we did not have either one. We were abandoned by both. And I I think of this card. I think that the, the illustrator of this card um, really, really exemplifies what happens to a once, what happens to that child who is abandoned by mother and or father and where the issue really stems from. So this issue of um, loneliness, abandonment, this whole is happening from childhood, from babyhood. This baby is not swaddled, it's not wrapped tenderly in love. And because of that, there is like a separation of the soul. There is something that this child, as it grows, it will continue to seek, it will continue to find. And there is a hole in the heart and that is something that we see with, you know, again, the um, Venus square Saturn and uh, Saturn in opposition to Venus and Venus to Neptune. And but because with Venus to Neptune, you don't get the you don't get the attention that you really, really need from the parents. You know, you, you don't you don't get heard. There's something that's missing, like they may physically be there. They may or may not be, but they're not there. They're not present. The parents are not present with you emotionally. And when they are not present, this child grows up and is uncovered, unswaddled. And then the soul feels like this. It's screaming. It's afraid. It's, it doesn't know which way to go. It doesn't know which way to go. So codependent relationships develop out of it uh connected with narcissists you know um people who use you abuse you and you know it is something that can be normal for people who have these harsh aspects to venus uh because it's what they've seen so the cycle happens and you roll in and out of these types of relationships but working with uh, malachite, working with malachite, there are some other crystals that I want to introduce too um, that can really help heal the, the Venus, the heart, when you have the, those types of uh, heart aspects. So working with this um, green opal, mm -hmm. I wasn't going to show that, but I'm just going to show it now because I don't know if I will dedicate another video to it. But working with green opal has been so helpful, so healing. It's, there is a very powerful energy in this green opal. I have a jar here with lots of crystals, so I'm trying to just get a piece of it out here to show it to you. So working with this green uh, raw opal has been so powerful for me it has red on there because I <laughs> I used it during a um, full moon um, full moon ceremony that I did um, for my heart and for healing and so forth so it still has that on there but that was some red candle but 
candle wax. But this green opal is so powerful as far as um, healing the heart, opening up the heart to receive love. If you have that um, heart aspect to Saturn with your Venus, this is something that can help you to open up the heart so that you can embrace love when people are being kind to you and being nice. This is something that can just really, really help heal that. And this is the green opal. And I actually, I ordered this on Amazon. It came in a bulk pack. I have Amazon Prime and it is phenomenal. It's been a huge help to me and I reach for it. I carry it in my bra here, the Malachite. Um, I have carried it, but in particular, just meditating with the Malachite. It brings truth. It brings truth about the issues of the heart um, and brings resolution. So I just wanted to make this video and share it with you and I hope it helps. If if you have crystals that you work with, if you have heart aspects to your Venus and you have something that you work with, share it with me. Um, maybe someone else will come through and see it, share it in the comments. And uh, that's all I have. And thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.